We are back over here on the Forex charts and in today's video, I'm going to make $600 live in front of you. Now, before you click off and think, oh, this is Forex trading, I have to invest money to start. Well, I'm going to show you a way on how you can sign up a demo account to practice the strategy that I'm going to show you that will make you money live without actually losing your own money. So this demo account consists of virtual money that isn't real. So all the profits or the losses that you make is not real, but it's a great way to practice before you start trading with real money. And like I said to you guys, I'm going to do this live in front of you. I've got my iPad over here with MetaTrader 5. I'm going to log on to the live markets, place my trades in front of you, show you my strategies first, and then show you the profits that I make in this 10 to 15 minute video. This is not going to be my usual affiliate marketing or my drop shipping content or drop servicing or CPM marketing or creating content on YouTube or social media. And this is quite a new topic that I've started talking about on my YouTube channel. I think I've only got about seven videos on trading. But one thing I can tell you, all my viewers have had the biggest success from my trading videos and have made the most money online from my trading videos. So just to recap, this is trading on the Forex markets the right way. This is not going to be some upsell to some crazy $2,000 course. All my content on Forex is on YouTube completely for free. It's a free link for anybody to share and anybody to watch. So I make money on Forex myself, so I don't need to sell you any kind of a course, but I'm going to give you my three strategies for free and prove that they work in this video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a bonus. If you have a look on the chart over here, it actually gives you way to sell and buy. Now I'm going to show you how to add this to your charts and it will literally tell you when you need to buy and sell. You can see over here, you should buy it as it told you and the markets went all the way up over here, it told you to sell came all the way down. So I'm going to show you all these tips, secrets and tricks to go and read these markets and literally start predicting them yourselves and pulling out big profits off the Forex markets. Before we get started, I just quickly want to announce that my drop servicing university program has been marked down from 397 all the way down to just $29. All you need to do is, is click on the first link in the description, type this coupon on the checkout and you'll see it will take it to $29. It's a once off lifetime fee. You get lifetime access all 57 videos with an intensive training with me. And this course will teach you how to sell high income skills and services all around the world at huge markup without actually doing those services yourself. So that's the first link in the description. And this coupon will only last until the new year. So make sure to go claim this coupon down below and I'll see you over there. And before we get started with this epic trading video, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel with the red notification bell on so that I can send you a message every time I upload an epic video just like this one. Make sure to leave a like and also quickly, I want you to comment down below if you want to see more trading trading videos from me. Like I said, this is the kind of content my audience gets the best results in the fastest amount of time possible. So comment down below if you want me to trade full time, maybe two, three videos on this YouTube channel instead of once about a week. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and your ideas on that. But without further ado, let's get started with this. over here is the first tool that we need to come over to. This is called tradingview.com. Now this is honestly a trader's gold mine. This allows you to predict the markets. You can add all sorts of indicators such as the separate graph over here, which shows you when to buy and sell. And it actually gives you these buy and sell, um, pop-ups on the charts over here, which you, which tells you when you should go buy and sell. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the charts option on trading view over here. And this is a completely free tool. They do have a paid account where you get a whole bunch of premium features, but you don't actually need that. I only use the free account and step number one. The first thing we want to go and do is we want to go and add our two indicators. And then I'm quickly going to show you my three strategies on how to predict this market. And then I'm going to log on my iPad, repeat that and just trade live and make those profits using just what I said. So over here, in order to get these buy and sell um, notifications on your graph over here, you want to scroll up to the left where it says the top left of just follow my mouse, where it says indicators, click on that on the search bar, you want to search Vu man Chu swing free. And it will look like this. Just click on it, make sure you leave, uh, click the star so that it saves to your favorites. If you click on it, you'll see it will then add. Okay, mine's already added. Let me just delete one um, and it will add this buy and sell to your chart. So you'll see the next one should start appearing soon. As soon as this buy or sell pops up, you know to go and buy and sell. But remember, this is just an indicator. Nothing is guaranteed with this. It just gives you a good idea. But as you can see, all the times it said sell and buy, it was perfectly correct. And step number two, we want to go and add our RSI indicator. So again, just click on indicators, go and search RSI and just click on relative strength index, the updated one over here. 
here and it will load up a second graph that looks like this. So here you can see on this little number um, graph over here, it goes from 30 to 70. Now what this means is every time this little line graph is closer to 70, that means the market is at a high and the chances of it coming down is very high. If it's closer to 30, like over here, that means the market is at a low and the odds of it going back up is very high, like it did over here. It was at a low and it went back up to over here. And here you can see again at the peak over here, it was at 70 and now it's starting to come back down as this RSI is predicting. So these are the two main indicators I use when trading. And on top of this, I use two main strategies called major swing levels and order blocks. And every time I trade with all four of these, I make huge profits on the Forex markets. I do get losses now and then, I will be honest, but it's hardly ever that you actually get a loss with a strategy. I also do quickly want to mention how powerful trading can be. I don't like to talk about or flex this kind of thing, but I recently just bought one of my dream cars, the Audi R8 V10, and the 80% deposit that was put down on the car was made with Forex profits. That's just to give you an idea of how far you can actually scale with Forex trading to the point you can start scaling to your dream cars, your dream house, your dream business. But in the beginning, I also started small. I only started with $200 in my account. And as time went by, and then I scaled to four figures, then five figures, and then eventually six figures in my account. And obviously, the bigger your account is, the bigger trades you can make, and the more profits you can make per trade. As obviously, your trade sizes that you would trade with a $100 account would be much smaller than that of a $100,000 account. But that will all make sense in a bit. So let's go and get started with predicting this chart and then logging onto my iPad and going to to go and trade this live. So we're gonna click on the currency uh, icon at the top left over here. So yeah, you can see it's the symbol CHF by JPY. All you wanna do is just remove it out the search bar click on Forex and you can go and see all the Forex pairs over here. Now this works really with any Forex pair. So what I do is most of the times the ones with the smallest spread. So we can go and have a look at Australian dollar versus United States dollar. And yeah, you can see the chart over here right now is going up quite a lot. And this is how I would read the chart. So let's go and have a look at major swing level. What you wanna do is you wanna put your chart on the one hour chart and you wanna zoom out quite a bit. I would say for at least the last month. So right now you can see, uh, let me just move, if we can move this. Okay, I can't really move that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the pen over here. So the pen is the tool I use to read major swing level. What we wanna do is we wanna draw, I know you can't really see it because this RSI, I'm just gonna remove it quickly. I'm gonna add it back now. But now you can see over here, if I draw a line at the highest point. Now, before we go and draw a line, what you wanna do is you want to have a look at what the overall general trend of the market is. So right now you can see it's a downward trend starting to go back upwards, which is perfectly fine. So over here, we're gonna draw a line at our highest point. We're gonna draw a line all the way down to the point on the market before it swings the other way. So yeah, you can see it goes down, goes down, goes down, and starts to go back up again. So this point over here where it swings the other direction is what you call a major swing level. Again, it turns the other way, back down, back down, back down, to another point where it swings the other direction, back up again. Same thing over here, pretty much just goes down, goes down, goes down to over here, major swing level. So over here, your buy points would be here. Major swing level, major swing level, major swing level. And your sell points would be here. Sell, down, sell, down, sell, and down. Now, obviously this market has changed direction. So take a look at this. Let me just move the chart a little bit left. Over here, you wanna go back up before the market swings the other direction. So now here it goes back up, back up, back up, all the way back down. So this over here is your new major swing level. Back up, all the way back down. This over here is your new major swing level. Back up, and then maybe back down, and then back up again, and then back up again over here. So over here, you can see we're reaching the peak of a major swing level. So right now, sooner or later, we can start looking at a sell. And then step number two is now that we've identified major swing levels, we're gonna go and use order blocks to go and back this up. And these two really work hand in hand well together to go and predict this market successfully. All right, so I'm just quickly removing all these lines that I just drew and I quickly wanna go and add my buy and sell indicator back. Uh, there you can see this has now been added back. And over here you can see right now this has just been updated and it says you should place a buy and it's starting to go up as predicted. So this indicator helps. But where the confusion comes in, major swing levels says this should be a sell. So immediately when I see that two of these strategies or two of these indicators aren't matching up, 
I won't place a trade because I'm not confident enough to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you what an order block is. And then we're going to go and find a different market because right now, according to major swing level, this should be a sell. But the order block and this indicator over here is saying you should buy. So they conflict. So that means I'm not confident enough to trade this. So the, but this is what an order block is for any of the markets. Take a look at this point over here. You can see over here that this green candle over here is bigger than this previous red candle. As soon as this green candle forms and it's bigger than this previous red candle and the next candle that forms green over here, you're going to place your buy because that means the market is going to start pushing up as it did quite a lot over here. And you could have picked up all those profits and as well, it's at the bottom of a major swing level. So over here, this point, would have been a perfect buy because it's at the bottom of a major swing level. It's an perfect order block that's formed. The RSI is low and this indicator over here told you to buy. So when all four of these match up, this means you can go and place your trade as everything is backing up on which the direction the market is going, which is upwards, which it did. So let's go and look for another market and go and look for something that perfectly adds up like this. All right, so I found a market that's forming quite a good opportunity for a trade. Firstly, take a look at the swing levels. I'm not going to go into as depth, but you've got your low, high, low, high, low, high, low over here. So according to RSI, it's below the 50 marks. So that means the markets are quite low. The order block is forming over here. You can see this green candle is bigger than this previous red candle. So now as soon as this next candle also forms green, you'd go and place your buy. So let's go and log onto my iPad and go and have a look at this market and see if this order block forms in. Let me just come over to the 15 minute chart in five minutes time. So the next thing we need to do is before you go and start trading, there's one app we need to go and install that is called MetaTrader. Five. So if you go and search MetaTrader 5 on Google or on the App Store, you can click on the website over here. You can go and install this on the App Store, Play Store um, for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and the App Gallery as well for Hawaii phones. So this is the official trading app where we can go and deposit our money, buy and sell and make our profits and withdraw our profits. But in order to go and deposit money, we need a broker. So I use Globex 360, which is basically your trading bank. So you know, you've got your traditional bank where you deposit money, you buy your food and groceries with your card. Now this works the same. So you get your own bank accounts over here, you're 100% in control, you deposit your money, you log onto your trading accounts with these login details Globex 360 gives you and you'll your balance will appear on MetaTrader 5 and you can go and place your trades over there. As soon as you make profits, it's sent to your Globex 360 account, which you can withdraw to your bank account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my iPad and go and show you all of this and go and trade live. Another good broker I also used to use was called Tickmill.com. So Tickmill and Globex 360 both offer zero spread, meaning they take hardly any commissions from your trades, which means just more money for you to make. So on Tickmill, you're going to scroll down, you're going to go and sign up for the pro account over here. Yeah, you can see zero pip spread. So this is also completely free to sign up. Reason being is because on my iPad over here, I didn't sign into my Globex 360 account as I actually only trade on my phone. But the thing is, in order for me to trade on my PC, it's easier to trade off my iPad so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to use my Tickmill account over here. You can see I've got 69,000 US dollars in this live account. Um, obviously, it would be different for you as you might be trading with a less um, balance, but the strategy works the same. It's just that the trade sizes will be different for you, which I'll explain to you now when I go and place my trades. All right. So yeah, you can see with two trades that I placed yesterday already, and this was quite a long term trade um, that I placed on Euro JPY. But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly close these trades. As you can see, I've hit quite big profits with this. Um, and then we're going to go and trade in today's video and make that $600 live as said on the title of this video. So let's just quickly go and close this. And there we go. Now you can see my balance over here is at 74,000 US dollars. I'm going to go and show you now on my uh, Tickmill account on how to go and draw this and show you my live accounts on Tickmill as well. So yeah, you can see right now on the Swiss franc versus Japanese market over here. Um, if I open up trading view again, the order block is completely deformed. So I'm not going to trade this anymore. When this happens, just go and look for another market. Here you can see right now, if you take a look at the Australian dollar versus US dollar markets, we are at the top of a major swing level over here. So you can see high, low, high, low, high. Um, and as you can see over here, this red candle is starting to form if it forms bigger than this green candle. And the next one also forms red. We know to go and place our sell as as you can see, the RSI is close to 70. So the odds of the market coming back down is pretty good as it's quite a high 
top of the major swing level. All we need left, that's two out of three. We, all we need left is that order block to form, and then we know we can go and place our salt. So when this forms, I'm gonna go and skip ahead um, and then explain to you why I'm gonna place this trade. I also want you to notice when I trade, I usually trade on the 15 minute market. But when I analyze with major swing levels, I switch to the one hour chart. But with RSI and order blocks, I use the 15 minute market. Five minutes later, you can see that this red candle is starting to form bigger and bigger, looking more promising for a sell. But like I said, this red candle needs to have formed and be bigger than this green candle. And the next candle that forms also needs to be starting off at red. And that's when we know to go and place our sell. Here you can see about 30 seconds left before the next candle forms. This red candle is still bigger than this green candle. So in the next 30 seconds, let's take a look at what this candle does then we know whether to go and place our sell or not. So I've got trading view open over here with my iPad screen over here. This is what I usually do when I trade. I read the markets off my PC and then go and trade on my phone according to analysis on trading view. All right, and about five seconds later, this order block is completely deformed. So we're not gonna go and place our sell here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna skip ahead to another market. All right, so Euro USD is forming quite a good opportunity for a sell. You can see over here, we're at the top, high, low, high, low, high, low, high and starting to form down towards a low. Perfect order block is forming. This red candle is bigger than this previous green candle. Again, the RSI is above 50, so it's strong for a sell or for the market to come back down. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and wait for the second candle to form. Here you can see this red candle started to form. So I'm gonna go and place my cells over here. Uh, here you can see we start off in the negative as there's a little bit of a uh, spread that the, the commission that the broker company takes. Um, but let's take a look and see what kind of profits we can take from this trade. As you can see, I'm trading with five volume size trades. Obviously, if you only have 100 or $200 in your account, you don't want to be trading with anything bigger than 0.1, even 0.05 is good to start off with. What that means is every time the market goes down or up by a pip, you make five or lose five dollars. So the bigger your trade, the bigger the risk, but the more you can make. Um, obviously, if it's only 0.1, then you make 0.1 dollars per pip that the market goes up or down. A good way to manage your account is always to make sure that your margin level never goes below 100%. As you can see, mine's at 435%, so that means we've got a lot of market to still play with. As you can see, over here about an hour later, we're finally hitting profits. We're pretty much break even the whole time. Sometimes trades do take a little bit longer than expected, but I'm on about $200 profit. You can see how nicely the market has come down. Um, in fact, I might actually trade uh, close this trade soon as I do think $600 on these three trades is going to be a little bit greedy. One of the biggest mistakes traders make is greed when they try and wait for more and more profits and eventually the market just goes the other direction and they lose everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close here and take $300 profit. I know it wasn't quite um, $600 as promised in the title of this video. However, you can just repeat this and do this again and make another $300 late in the day on another market. So, I mean, the whole point of this video is $600 in a day, but I just made $300 live. So you can do this again and again and again. You can repeat this, but that's gonna be it for today's video. I just made $300 in front of you. Um, in order to withdraw this, you just come over to your broker site. You click on uh, login with your account over here, uh, either create account or the client area over here. Same with Globex 360 clients area, you'll see your amount will appear on your dashboard. You just click on withdraw into your bank information and it will wire transfer to your account. But if you wanna get access to all my trading videos and a full on trading course with over seven videos in it on me trading live with a strategy, make sure to click on this playlist over here. I'll leave it on the screen. There's about seven videos. I actually have a video where I teach you how to trade with just $100 in your account. You'll find that in this playlist over here. So make sure to click over here and I'll see you over there.